Well guys, I think I found the uh, piece of wood I'm going to use for making my Leicester Spear. Comes down, 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 down. Yep. Hopefully that doesn't need too much straightening. Right, anyway, see you in a minute. Well, good morning guys. Um, yeah, it's getting on a bit, it's about 8 o'clock I suppose. I've uh, Again, this week I decided to have breakfast indoors rather than out. I just lack the will, I suppose, but I shall be having to brew up. I'll be experimenting with a gift that Sandy gave me and also a stainless steel mora. Um, more on that later. It's a fine damp day and as yet I've seen no fungi, but who knows. Well, I've just got to do some hop skipping and jumping, so I'm going to put the camera away and maybe in the next scene we'll have a chat see you in a bit well guys um, some time ago uh, I think might have been the beginning of last year I bought one of these to go with my Crusader cup system um, it's made by BCB and I actually found it was pretty near useless um, I think the actual design could have actually having this metal stand the whole thing up a little bit further so you could actually drop a trangia a trangia type burner in it but regardless it's been sitting on the uh, it's been sitting around in my man cave for quite a while now as you know guys if you've watched my uh, little missives on the net uh, a few months back I was happy enough to go out into the woods with uh, some other guys and we had a great time and um, we ate and had a booze up and wandered around the woods exchanged stories and ideas now Sandy one of the guys who now makes the uh, Jack Law knife made one of these up now blowed if I can't get the bloody thing open now hang on a minute I spy myself a little opening device and um, that'll probably do something out of my fire bag got some bits in the fire bag I wish to uh, show off today and some ideas right um, basically what he's done he's got he's uh, he does air gunning a lot you know small game squirrels rabbits the odd pigeon and it's um it's a pain to open this actually today. I opened it over okay earlier. Right. Um. Ah, here we are. No. There we are. He's put that inside it. Uh, you dose it up with mess, and away you go. Um, so I'm going to experiment with this later. Uh, I desperately need a cup of tea, so I think experimenting it sooner rather than later is a good idea. And we'll see how this works. Um, as I found a piece of hazel, and that, in the previous sequel, we should have seen that. It's a long, fairly straight piece, and. I'll be using that at some point in the very near future to make the Leicester Spear. I'm not coal forging out in the woods, um, I'm going to do that at home and I'll be making the points and uh, as luck would have it I found a couple of zip ties on a lamp post. There is a way of getting a zip tie off a lamp post. If you see these lonely zip ties where there's been a sign, the sign's gone but the zip tie's lay, been laid behind, get the point of a, a Swiss Army knife or at some point slide it under the tab and you can actually slide the zip tie off and there you go you, you saved yourself a zip tie um, I'll be explaining more when I do the video on the Leicester Spear and it's an, it's an idea I've had of making a portable spear that you can actually carry basically all you've got is a walking stave with three little holes in the top and in your bait box, your tackle box, your fishing box, you will have the three points for the Leicester Spear. And 
more on that on another video. Soon, I hope, soon. Um, anyway, I'm going to cut away to the next scene, and in between times, I'll be getting this on the go. And see you in a bit, guys. All right, this is me loading it up, obviously. No fancy fire flashes today, just good old fashioned lighter. I shall flip the, uh, the bar over. Right now, I'm not cut atomic because I ain't got a bloody watch with me today, but it's not the timing that counts, it's whether it actually works to do what I want it to do, which is actually boil water up for tea. What I've got in there, guys, is half a litre, which is 500 mils, obviously. Um, that's just about a mug of tea for me. That's the uh, early morning brew. Um, we're going to see how this works. Now, I've got it on the go, and while I'm waiting for that to brew up, uh, a, little, a little chat, I think. Well, the water's on its way and it's time for time just to sit back wait for the thing to to brew up to heat up boil up and what have you um what's been going on uh last week i um put one of these it's the uh what's my last one uh, it's the more it's the advanced more clipper really it's, they call it the companion but this one's stainless steel I know some of you have probably rolled your eyes up and what have you. Um, you go down to the seaside, down to where there's salt water in particular, carbon steel knives corrode like buggery. And it takes on a lot of effort to keep on top of that. So basically I bought it for when I'm doing coastal work. Um, I've noticed they've got a, a different type of uh, sheath now. It's slightly blunt at the end rather than going to a, a, a semi point. And the actual blade itself is thicker. Um, I've got the uh, Mora 510 here. And if I hold them up together, you can see there is a, a distinct thickness size. Um, be good for splitting wood, I should think. Um, my 510 has seen better days. Well, it's got a lovely patina on the blade and it's nice. Um, this actually I think it's got a, slight, a slightly longer, a very slightly longer handle which actually makes it very comfortable for holding. Because um, I've got big hands and uh, ooh, itchy ready. Um, nice piece of kit. Yeah, it's what you would expect of a more. Um, just got to put some luminous tape or something around the end because losing your knife in the woods is not a good thing or anywhere really is not a good thing. Um, other than that, apart from a set of new seal skin gloves for the winter, um, I noticed when I come out this morning it was quite cold and there was a slight nip on my ears. I've got big ears and I know when it's cold. Um, oh! Looks good, Sandy. It's looking good. This is boiling up well. Um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, knives are good. I've, to that end, as far as equipment goes, to that end, I've set up my own Facebook group, and you're all quite welcome to apply to join. The only, the only real criteria is is to do with keeping everything simple no fancy gadgets so when it comes to knives it's simple knives you know like sandy makes like the woodlaw knife or ben orford knife it's a simple straightforward knife all knives basically perform the same function some people over egg the pudding you know and they want to add this gadget on that i mean i've seen the wsk knives and i've seen the tom brown tracker in fact i've handled the tom brown tracker you might as well have a sledgehammer it's so heavy it's not comfortable to use. A knife is a tool, it should be comfortable to use. 
out in the woods, you craft your tools. You you, you want a spoon, you make one from um, from a piece of birch. Um, what else has been happening? As I say, it's called Kiss Bushcraft. K I W S Bushcraft. I tried to think of an alternative name, but Bushcraft people know what it's about basically. To me, it will always be playing in the woods or anywhere else for that matter. Um, yep, yeah, as I say, it's, it's the making of kit and what have you. You know, you don't go out, you don't need to go out and keep buying stuff. Um, I found a spoon head, a piece of, a, a top end of a teaspoon. And all I've got to do now is um, get myself a couple of swivels for um, and make, I can make a small spoon for spinning. Um, I'm intending to do more of that in the future as you know, is to go fishing. Um, still struggling with the uh, hemp net, I've had, I've, I didn't do any last week, partly because work was very tired, I was absolutely extremely knackered when I got home most days. And it, it, I mean, really tiring. I was having trouble keeping awake. I often do when I get in. I like to have a little bit of a nap, but this was really bad. Um, got some nice plans coming up. I've been looking at some places in Scotland to go. What I would like to do with some with a group of guys is go up there and do our own thing for a week or two. Well, no, a week, maybe a few days. You know, it takes two days to get to where I want to go, so I'm looking two days there, two days back, and say two or three days in between. Bit of bit of sea fishing, bit of foraging, or whatever. We we'll see how it goes. I might just do it as a solo trip. A solo trips on the on the on the upper. On has got the upper hand at the moment. Um, I say there's not been much happening in the, in in what in this uh, outdoorsy world of late. You know, as people been going out. I'm having a terrible time trying to keep up with the uh, YouTube vids. Um, sometimes it just seems there's not enough hours in the day. You know, there's other stuff I have to do. Um, dog is okay. No, well, it's good. Um, I've just taken apart a shelter that someone put put together, uh, and I'm glad I didn't have to sleep under it because I touched a piece of wood and the whole thing just collapsed. Now, there's an awful lot of wood there and there's an awful lot of weight. I wish these people that go out making impromptu shelters in these woods would, under, would understand that you've got to use quite strong wood and you've got to remember that the thing has got to be really sturdy because by the time you finish building a shelter there is an awful lot of weight there and it will crush you if it lands on top of you. Um, just trying to think, is there, is there anything else that's crossed my mind of late? No? Oh, got some fungi yesterday. If you, if, the previous video was um, our trip, Avalon and my trip to Dunallan Park, which is a, a, a pleasure park near us, and uh, always manages to turn up something for us, and we had a whole heap of wood mushrooms. I meant to Sylveticus, and they are or. Agarica sylveticus, so so nice, and there was a lot there. We had them for dinner last night. We had a couple of bleats in there, but the bleats I think were just a little bit past it. Um, they came out a bit slowly when I was cooking, but <sighs> other than that, life's good. Um, I'll be showing you the let the the shaft of the Leicester Spear in a minute. I'm just going to sit down, relax and have a cup of tea and enjoy myself. All I can say Sandy is thank you. It works really well and I am so pleased with this. It means that I can now bring this into action as part of the brew kit. You know, just, it won't be to, you won't be able to cook on it as such but as for brewing teas up and what have you, pucker stuff. to flip it over. And drop the lid on it. 
Well, just try to anyway. Sacre bleu! There you go. That should put it out. Anyway, there we go, guys. Um, that's going to be the Leicester Spear, eventually. Uh, I've made it just a tad above my height. So, when I'm actually using it, I, I'll be having either a small rumour or I've got some catapult elastic which I will use and that will give me a bit more purchase and the spear point will be there and chum, chum, flatty. Right, I don't like wasting too much of the wood if I have to harvest something. I like to try and use all that I harvest within reason. So consequently I've got myself eight long tent stakes. Um, just got to point them up and cast some notches into them. These are going to come in useful when I go to the Lake District because the ground's quite soft there and you need quite long stakes so these will help immensely. Anyway guys, as I was saying, put these back down. That's the thing. It's slightly thinner this end. It's going to dry out a bit so it'll become lighter and easier to handle. And of course, the way I want to make this Lester Spear is have it so that I don't have to have the points on all the time. They will be zip tied on or bound on when I get to my destination. So essentially all I've got, once I've rubber capped this end, is a walking stave. You know, so I've got two walking staves now, one for foraging and one for spearing fish. Um, one point, uh, one thing I must point out, if you're intending to make one of these and to use it, you can only use it in the UK you can only use it on the coast you're not allowed to spear fish or net fish using a gill net inland having said that if you do do that this don't get caught um, I say I'll be trimming this end up a bit because it's still a bit knotty and I'm probably going to take most of the bark off I fancy just making a proper a proper working tool this time, I think it's sort of pushed up. Um, ah, there you go, that's the length you want it. If you look online, um, look at the Aboriginals from the Torres Strait, you find they use exceedingly long ones of these, and they use a Woomera or Spear Thrower, or some people know them as a ladle. Um, very interesting thing, very good to watch. Uh, I think it was on one of Ray Mears' programs that he used the, uh, or you know, he's out, he's up in the Torres Strait, and he's watching Aboriginal using these, and they are very, very efficient pieces of kit. Um, again, as I mentioned, as I've mentioned in the past, you basically use these when you're treading for flatties, nice sandy bottom, bare feet, or with uh, those sort of like. Um, shoes for wearing in water uh, you, you just feel your round way around for the fatties as soon as one appears you go jump making sure you don't spear your foot because you don't want to catch your feet do you you want to catch something to eat um, this is all to do with catching food it's not a play thing um, you can go and practice but it's for catching food you know to me bushcraft is simple, using simple tools and this is one. You can go into the woods, make this. I mean, you don't even, I'll, be, I'll be doing the cold forging at some point and I'll show you how to put points on. But you can even point this, split it down four ways, put a point on each one so you've got a, a basically a spear that looks like that and bang, you've got something to hunt with. Anyway guys, um, enough of my burbling. I tend to rub it on sometimes. I've got some tent stakes to point up in a little while. I'm going to have another brew and then I'm going to wend my way back home. Maybe have a wander around here see if I can find some um, fungi. Anyway guys, may all your journeys be good and get out into the woods as often as possible or just get outside as often as possible because we are the outdoor guys. I've lost my hat so you can see. Right, um, 
It's just an add-on bit to the uh, end of the Leicester Spears and that. I've just been supping my uh, second brew and pondering things and on another site someone's thinking of making a, um, a waterproof swag. Now, I had a quick look around and around the net on uh, swag bags and what have you. I noticed that most of them now are geared up for vehicle type expeditions. Um, then I had a thought, um, not so long ago, uh, either last year or the, yeah, I think it was last year, I did a, a bushcraft kit or an outfit, a camping outfit for less than £27. Um, you know, what was around you. Now, looking upon that and thinking about it, that was the original swag. Um, I'm thinking of revisiting it, but not making it as so it's a, a, a budget kit, but putting together something that you can go out into the woods with without having to um, load a rucksack, basically. I mean, basically all the rucksack is is a bag to carry things in. All the swag is, is you've taken the rucksack and you've wrapped everything up in a blanket. Um, I'm going to explore this and see where it goes. Um, it's actually taking it down and making it a little bit more simple. Um, the way I did it last time was suitable for summer camping. And that's the way I'm going to do it again. Is because the environment we live in, in the northwestern Europe, does get very damp from, say, mid-September onwards up until about the beginning of, beginning to the middle of April. It's damp and it's cold. Um, camping takes on a different aspect. It's more keeping warm and having the right gear. Summer camping, you can normally get away with a blanket and a ground sheet. And I'm going down that route to explore it. Um, okay, it's winter time, but it was mild last winter, really mild. In fact, I was using summer gear to sleep out at night. Anyway, guys, um, that's all I've got to say on that subject at the moment. Uh, I'll be going down that route, so keep your eyes open. Speak to you soon. Well, I've had a wander around the woods, guys, and not much fun, guys, but these little beauties are known as wolf farts. Uh, stump puffballs, and I'll pick one up. I've just broken one open, as you can see. They're okay. They're still quite firm in the flesh. And I'm going to pick these because I think they're rather tasty and I would like to try them out. Anyway, guys, I shall speak to you soon. What a wonderful end to a, a nice morning. Um, I've actually found some edible fungi. The wolf fart.